here's some pictures of President Don Reagan. sample letters and other than a few one or two high income people who are willing to forego some tax cut the bulk of it still says don't take away our tax cut <laughs> but they all they all though say cut spending do you, do you, have, do you ever try to take candy from a baby mm -hmm. a baby that's under the same thing <clears throat> Tax cut. Don't don't want to give it up very readily. I'll tell you. That. I don't blame them. You you have a copy this time? Uh, yes. Yeah. Anybody else need a copy? Uh, there are extras there of Craig or uh, somebody wants one. Craig. Okay. Well, what our first chart here is. That's not too good. Don't need that. Don't need that. Back. You don't need that. <laughs> that just shows you the dates that certain things are coming up. Uh, the uh, what we have here first. Obviously, is to show you where GNP is and where it's going. You notice where it is. It has progressed nowhere since 1979. If you look over the top part of that, uh, to the left-hand side there, where GNP was in 1979 and where it is now, it has gone nowhere. Now we're projecting that it will start to increase. You notice its rate of growth down below there. And the rate of growth, again, we're projecting. The is the the is the 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 I think this is a rotation thing. Proclamation room, and I know that you are faced now with Mark up here, and so I think I welcome this discussion that we can we can have. The I think there's been a great deal of misinformation that's been put out, not only by some on the hill, but in the media. I was surprised to learn the other day that a 182 billion dollar deficit is what would have followed uh, the budget that we'd set up in February been adopted. That, that was the budget figure. And no one manages to say that that's the budget figure if no one does anything. <laughs> um, 